hand, have the ladies on the bar Groove to the streets, I'm the man with the plan Got the world in my hands, every woman wants to stand I roll in my jack, fast like the wind Every mission I take, you know I'm gonna win Ladies on my left, danger on the right But it's love and respect that I'm bringing to the fight On the tag with the nine lives, playing the game A heart full of fire, can't be tamed In the shadows I roll On the prize, but my heart's in the beat. J Cats on the mic, bring the heat to the street. When it comes to the ladies, a smooth like silk, but don't get it twisted. I'm the man with the milk. For every ten it falls, I'm the hand to hold. In this world of chaos, I'm the story untold. With every breath I take, every move I make, I'm writing my name in the history is fake. I'm the cat with the nine lives, the game. A heart full of fire, can't be tamed. In the shadows, I roam. Welcome to the adventures of Jay Cat, where thrills meet tenderness in a captivating blend of sexy, excitement and romance. Hosted by the adventurous Jay Bahari, this hip podcast invites listeners to embark on exhilarating journeys filled with captivating stories and heartfelt moments. Each episode explores the intriguing intersections of adventure and love, transporting you to breathtaking romance and inspiring tales that will leave you yearning for your own escapades. Whether you're a seasoned traveler, a hopeless romantic, or simply someone who appreciates a great story, J Cat Adventures promises a delightful escape into the extraordinary, sparking your imagination and igniting your wanderlust. Tune in and let the adventures begin. Hi, I am your host Jay Bahari. Let's go. J Cat, Secrets and Seduction. The night was electric, the air charged with an intensity that buzzed just beneath the surface of the Parisian skyline. Neon lights flickered in the distance, casting long shadows over the cobblestone streets, and the city that never truly slept hummed with a quiet sophistication. Amid the elegant chaos, J. Cat found himself deep within the underbelly of Parisian high society, navigating a world where whispers of betrayal and dangerous secrets floated as freely as the champagne and crystal flutes. J. Cat's mission was simple on the surface, retrieve classified intel from a notorious double agent known only as the Fox. The fox had embedded herself in the upper echelons of the European elite, her web of deceit stretching across governments and corporate powerhouses. She was beautiful, cunning, and utterly lethal, exactly the kind of challenge J. Cat had spent his career mastering. But this mission was different. It was not just about stopping the fox, it was about uncovering a deeper conspiracy that threatened to expose every secret within the agency. J. Cat was no stranger to danger, but this time, the stakes were higher than ever. One wrong move could topple entire governments, and the line between ally and enemy was more blurred than ever before. As always, J. Cat was prepared for anything, except, perhaps, the pool of seduction that awaited him in the form of his target. The night of the gala was one of opulence. Gowns that cost more than cars, tuxedos tailored to perfection, and champagne that flowed like water set the stage for a night of indulgence. J. Cat entered the grand ballroom with ease, his tailored suit fitting him like a second skin, every move calculated yet effortlessly smooth. His reputation as a playboy and international man of mystery preceded him, making him a perfect fit for the world he now needed to infiltrate. He scanned the room, eyes sharp beneath his relaxed demeanor. His target was somewhere among the elite, likely watching him already. The fox was known for her ability to blend into any crowd, her allure making her both irresistible and deadly. But tonight, she wasn't the only one with a plan. As the evening progressed, J. Cat's eyes finally locked onto her. She stood near the grand staircase, her dark red dress clinging to her body like molten silk, her beauty more dangerous than any weapon. Her name was Elise Dupont, or at least that's what she went by now. She moved with the grace of a predator, every step calculated, every glance designed to pull men into her web of deception. J. Cat approached her slowly, his confidence radiating. He knew she had already noticed him, her eyes flicking over him with a curiosity she couldn't hide. She was good, but so was he. Miss Dupont, J. Cat said, his voice smooth as he offered her a subtle smile. A pleasure to finally meet the woman I've heard so much about. Elise's lips curved into a dangerous smile. Mr. J. Cat, I presume? Your reputation precedes you. Their conversation was a dance of words, each sentence laced with double meanings, each glance a test of will. 
They circled each other like predators sizing up their prey, knowing full well that one wrong move could cost them everything. Over the course of the evening, J-Cat and Elise played their game of seduction and deceit to perfection. She was trying to figure out his agenda, and he was trying to uncover hers. Every touch, every lingering glance, was carefully orchestrated to reveal nothing and yet suggest everything. They found themselves on the balcony as the gala continued in full swing behind them. The city stretched out below, and the tension between them was palpable. Elise leaned against the stone railing, her eyes never leaving Jay Katz as she spoke. I must say, you surprised me, she murmured, her voice a low purr. Most men who come after me have only one thing in mind, and it's never as interesting as you. Jay Katz smiled, his gaze steady. Maybe I'm different. Maybe, she echoed, taking a slow step toward him. Her perfume was intoxicating, her proximity almost dangerous. He could feel the weight of her words, the unspoken challenge beneath them. Elise Dupont wasn't just trying to seduce him, she was testing him, trying to see how far he would go, how deep he would let himself sink into her game. And J-Cat, ever the master of control, was determined not to lose. But as the night continued, something unexpected happened. Beneath the layers of lies, something real began to form between them. Their attraction wasn't just part of the mission, it was genuine. And that made everything infinitely more dangerous. As dawn approached, J. Cat found himself in Elise's private suite, the room bathed in the soft glow of city lights. They had danced around each other all night, the tension finally breaking in a way neither of them could deny. They had come together in a passionate collision, their desire igniting like a wildfire that neither could control. But now, in the quiet aftermath, reality began to settle in. J-Cat lay beside her, his mind racing. He couldn't let his emotions cloud his judgment, no matter how drawn he was to her. Elise was the fox, and she had to be stopped. Yet, as he watched her sleep, a part of him wondered if there was more to her than the dangerous double agent she presented to the world. Was she a woman who had been forced into a life of lies, or was she truly the deadly seductress everyone believed her to be? Elise stirred, her eyes fluttering open as she caught him watching her. She smiled softly, but J-Cat saw the conflict in her gaze, the unspoken truth that neither of them could deny. They were enemies, but in that moment, they were also something more. You don't have to do this, she whispered, her voice barely audible. J-Cat's heart clenched, but he pushed the emotion down. He couldn't afford to let himself be swayed. The mission came first. Neither do you, he replied, his voice low. For a moment, time seemed to stand still. The weight of their choices hung in the air, thick with the possibility of betrayal and the hope of redemption. But in the end, they both knew the truth. There were two sides of the same coin, bound by secrets and seduction, but destined to be on opposite sides of the game. As dawn broke over the Parisian skyline, J. Cat made his move. He left Elise's suite quietly, leaving behind the woman who had come closer than anyone to breaking through his armor. He couldn't allow himself to fall for her, not when the mission and the world depended on him remaining clear-headed. But as he disappeared into the early morning shadows, a part of him knew that this wasn't the end. Their story wasn't over. Not yet. As J. Cat melted into the streets of Paris, his heart and mind were at war. The city seemed quieter at this hour, the only sounds the distant hum of early morning traffic and the occasional rustle of a breeze through the narrow alleyways. His Jaguar XJ220 was parked just around the corner, waiting like a silent predator, ready to whisk him away from the tangled mess of emotions and deceit he'd just left behind. She was unlike any other woman he'd ever encountered. There had been plenty of dangerous women in J-Cat's line of work, women who used their allure to manipulate, who hid behind beauty to mask lethal intentions. But Elise wasn't like them, not entirely. Yes, she was dangerous. Yes, she had played the game of seduction expertly. But there was something real behind those eyes, something more than just the cold calculation of a double agent. As he slipped behind the wheel of his Jaguar, J. Cat couldn't shake the thought of her. There had been a moment, just before he left, where he could have sworn he saw a flicker of vulnerability, of hesitation. Was she having second thoughts? Could she be swayed? Or was he just letting his own emotions cloud his judgment? The engine purred to life beneath him, the familiar growl soothing his nerves. He had to push her from his mind. The mission wasn't over, and if Elise had taught him anything, it was that the game wasn't just about who played it better, it was about who could keep their heart out of it. He sped through the city streets, the early morning light casting long shadows across the buildings. 
his destination was a secure rendezvous point in the outskirts of the city, a safe house where he would debrief with his handler, Ghost. By the time Jake had arrived at the safe house, he had managed to lock his emotions back in their cage. He was a professional. He had been in situations like this before, though maybe not quite like this, and he knew how to compartmentalize. The door to the safe house was nondescript, blending in with the surrounding architecture. It was just another anonymous building in a city full of them. Inside, however, it was a fortress of technology and security. Ghost was waiting for him, sitting at a table with several monitors glowing dimly behind him. His expression was unreadable as always, though J-Cat could tell from the slight tension in his posture that things weren't going according to plan. How did it go? Ghost's voice was gravelly, as if years of clandestine operations had worn it down to a rasp. J-Cat paused for a moment, considering how much to share. He hadn't told Ghost everything about Elise. Not yet. There were too many unknowns, too many variables to consider. It's complicated, J-Cat finally said, settling into a chair across from Ghost. The fox, Elise Dupont, is slippery. She's embedded herself deep within the upper ranks. It's going to be harder to extract the intel than we thought. Ghost raised an eyebrow. Complicated? That's not a word I hear from you often. J-Cat smirked, leaning back in his chair. She's good. Too good. But I'll get what we need. Ghost studied him for a long moment before nodding. You better. This isn't just about some rogue agent anymore. We've got bigger problems, and if we don't get that intel, everything could fall apart. J-Cat knew what Ghost wasn't saying outright, the agency was on the line. If Elise's web of secrets was as deep as they suspected, the entire operation could be exposed. Years of covert missions, sensitive information, even the identities of agents worldwide, all of it could come crashing down. Consider it done, J-Cat said, his voice steady. But inside, he wasn't so sure. Because if he couldn't stay one step ahead of Elise, if he couldn't separate his emotions from the mission, he risked more than just failure. He risked his life and hers. As J-Cat left the safe house, his mind churned with possibilities. He had to make contact with Elise again. But this time, it couldn't be about seduction. It had to be about survival. There was more to her than met the eye, and he needed to figure out what her endgame was before it was too late. The next evening, J-Cat returned to the upscale nightclub where he and Elise had first locked eyes. The room was dimly lit, the bass from the music pulsing through the floor as bodies swayed in unison. It was a world of decadence and distraction, a place where secrets were whispered in the dark corners and fortunes were made and lost in the blink of an eye. Elise was there, seated at the bar in a black dress that seemed to shimmer in the low light. She was as poised and controlled as ever, her mask firmly in place. But J-Cat had seen beneath that mask, if only for a moment. He knew there was more to her story. He approached her slowly, sliding onto the stool next to hers. She didn't look at him immediately, instead taking a slow sip from her glass, as if his presence was nothing more than a minor inconvenience. I didn't expect to see you here again, she said, her voice smooth and unaffected. But there was a hint of something else beneath her words, anticipation, perhaps? J-Cat smirked. I'm full of surprises. Elise turned to face him, her dark eyes studying him intently. For a moment, there was silence between them, the weight of everything unsaid hanging in the air. Why are you really here, J-Cat? She finally asked, her voice quieter now, more serious. He leaned in slightly, his gaze never wavering from hers. I could ask you the same thing. What's your game, Elise? What do you really want? She didn't answer immediately. Instead, she set her glass down and leaned back, crossing her legs as she considered him. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. For the first time since he'd met her, J-Cat saw something flicker across her face, hesitation, vulnerability, fear. It was gone in an instant, replaced by her usual calm demeanor, but he had seen it. And it made him wonder if there was more at stake than just the mission. I didn't choose this life, Elise said quietly, her eyes drifting away from his. But once you're in, it's impossible to get out. J-Cat's expression softened slightly. He knew that feeling all too well. The world they lived in was one of shadows and lies, and escaping it was a fantasy that few ever realized. But you can choose now, he said, his voice low. You don't have to keep playing this game. Elise looked back at him, her gaze hardening. You don't understand. There are things you don't know, things I can't tell you. J-Cat sighed, running a hand through his hair. 
He knew he was getting close to the truth, but she was still holding something back. And until she trusted him enough to reveal it, they were both trapped in this deadly game of secrets and seduction. The tension between J. Cat and Elise simmered in the dim light of the nightclub. There were two people on opposite sides of a dangerous game, yet bound together by something neither could fully explain. J. Cat could sense Elise's fear, her reluctance to open up. But he also knew that time was running out. The longer she kept her secrets, the closer they both came to being consumed by the web of deception she was tangled in. He leaned forward, his voice steady but laced with intensity. Elise, you don't have to do this alone. Whatever you're involved in, we can find a way out. Together. She looked at him, her dark eyes shimmering with an emotion he couldn't quite place, regret, maybe, or even guilt. It was rare for J-Cat to feel so exposed, vulnerable even. But something about Elise made him want to protect her, despite the danger. He could see through her defenses, to the woman who wanted to escape the life of lies and betrayals. Elise shook her head slowly. It's not that simple, J-Cat. If I walk away now, they'll come after me. And after you. J-Cat smiled, though there was no humor in it. Let them try. The words hung between them, a declaration of defiance in the face of an enemy neither of them could fully see. Elise's expression softened for a moment, her mask slipping just enough for J-Cat to see the woman behind the agent. But just as quickly, she pulled back, her wall snapping into place. I can't drag you into this, J-Cat, she whispered. You have no idea how deep this goes. He placed a hand gently on hers, his touch firm but reassuring. You're wrong, Elise. I've been in the shadows my whole life. I know how dark it can get. But that doesn't mean you can't find the light. For a moment, Elise seemed to consider his words, her gaze locked on his. There was something in her eyes, a flicker of hope, maybe, or a longing for something different. But then, as quickly as it appeared, it was gone, replaced by the cold, calculating agent he had first met. I'm sorry, she said, standing up abruptly and pulling her hand away. This has to end. Before J. Cat could react, Elise turned and disappeared into the crowd, leaving him sitting at the bar, alone with his thoughts and the growing realization that she wasn't going to make this easy. The moment Elise left, J. Cat knew he couldn't let her go. Not like this. There was too much at stake, both for the mission and for her. He had to stop her before she made a mistake that would cost them both. He stood up, his eyes scanning the crowded nightclub. Elise was good, she had already blended into the sea of faces, disappearing like a ghost. But J-Cat had spent years tracking people who didn't want to be found. He knew her moves. He knew where she would go. Without wasting another second, he slipped out of the club and onto the dimly lit streets of Paris. The cool night air hit his face, clearing his mind and sharpening his instincts. Elise was running from something, something bigger than just their mission. And J-Cat was determined to find out what. He moved quickly, his footsteps silent as he navigated the narrow alleyways and bustling streets. The city seemed to pulse with an energy all its own, the nightlife spilling out onto the sidewalks, oblivious to the silent chase happening in its midst. J-Cat knew Elise was heading to her safe house, a small, nondescript apartment on the outskirts of the city. He had done his homework, tracked her movements, learned her routines. She was predictable in some ways, despite her efforts to remain elusive. And that was exactly why he knew he could catch her. When he reached the apartment building, J-Cat moved with the practice precision of a seasoned agent. He slipped inside the building, his senses on high alert. The place was quiet, almost too quiet. He made his way up the stairs, avoiding the creaky spots he had memorized from his previous surveillance. Reaching her door, J-Cat hesitated for only a moment before knocking softly. There was no answer, but he could sense someone on the other side. His pulse quickened, knowing she was there, knowing she was on the other side of that door, contemplating her next move. Elise, he called quietly, his voice just above a whisper. I'm not leaving until you open this door. Silence. He knocked again, more insistent this time. We're not done, Elise. You know that. After what felt like an eternity, the door creaked open just enough for Elise's face to appear. Her expression was guarded, but J-Cat could see the conflict in her eyes. Why are you doing this? She asked, her voice low and weary. J-Cat stepped closer, his gaze unwavering. Because I'm not going to let you face this alone. Whatever you're hiding from, whatever secrets you think will destroy you, I'll be there. But you have to trust me. Elise's grip tightened on the door, as if she were fighting an internal battle. 
Finally, she stepped aside, allowing J. Cat to enter. The tension between them was palpable, the unspoken connection lingering in the air. As the door clicked shut behind him, J. Cat knew the next move would change everything. Secrets were about to be uncovered, and the lines between duty, desire, and deception were about to blur in ways neither of them could control. But whatever happened next, J. Cat was ready. Because in a world of secrets and seduction, only the strongest could survive. And J. Cat was determined to be the one who came out on top, with Elise by his side, if he could save her from the darkness threatening to consume them both. As J. Cat stepped into Elise's safe house, the weight of their situation pressed down like a storm cloud threatening to burst. The dim light inside cast shadows that danced across the room, echoing the turmoil swirling within both of them. The air between them was thick with unspoken tension, desire, fear, and uncertainty all mixed into one volatile cocktail. Elise paced to the window, her silhouette framed against the backdrop of Paris. You don't know what you're asking for, J. Cat, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. Once you know the truth, you can't unsee it. You can't walk away. J. Cat moved closer, his tone firm yet gentle. I've been in this game long enough to know that truth is rarely black and white, Elise. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm asking for honesty. She turned to face him, her eyes shimmering with an intensity that threatened to pull him under. You think you want the truth? Fine. The truth is, I was never just an asset. I'm deep in this. Deeper than anyone knows. And if I don't play my cards right, I won't be the only one who ends up dead. J. Cat felt the gravity of her words hit him like a punch to the gut. Then let's play it smart. Together. You don't have to face this alone. For the first time since their dangerous tangle began, Elise let her guard slip. Her face softened, revealing the vulnerability she had been hiding beneath layers of mistrust and fear. And what if I've already dragged you too far in? What if you're the next target? J. Cat smirked, his confidence unwavering. Let them come. They'll find out real quick that I'm not someone they can take down easily. A small smile tugged at the corners of Elise's lips. Always the cocky one, aren't you? He stepped closer, the space between them shrinking until they were mere inches apart. When I have something worth fighting for, yeah. And you, Elise, are worth it. Her breath hitched slightly, the intensity of his words cutting through her resolve like a knife. There was a beat of silence, the world outside fading into nothing as they stood locked in a moment that felt both inevitable and dangerous. Then, without warning, Elise closed the gap, pulling J-Cat into a kiss that was equal parts desperation and desire. It was a kiss born out of the firestorm they had been caught in, the kind of kiss that told a thousand unspoken stories in the heat of the moment. J-Cat responded in kind, his hands finding her waist, pulling her closer as the walls around them seemed to disappear. But even as they gave into the passion between them, J-Cat's mind remained sharp, attuned to the reality that surrounded them. He knew this wasn't just about the moment, it was about survival. Breaking the kiss, J-Cat looked into her eyes, his voice low and intense. Now tell me, Elise. Who are we really up against? She exhaled slowly, her expression softening as she realized she couldn't keep him in the dark any longer. It's an underground syndicate. They deal in everything, arms, drugs, even human trafficking. I was sent to infiltrate, but I got too close. Now they want me out. Dead. J-Cat processed her words, his mind already formulating a plan. And they don't know about me yet? She shook her head. Not yet. But they're watching. Always. Then we have an advantage, he said. I'll make contact with Ghost. We'll set up a trap, draw them out, and end this. Once and for all. Elise hesitated, her voice tinged with doubt. You think it's that easy? J. Cat grinned, the trademark confidence she had come to expect from him returning full force. Nothing's ever easy. But I've taken down bigger fish than these. We'll do it together. For the first time since they had met, Elise let herself believe in the possibility of escape. Of freedom. She nodded, the fire in her eyes reigniting. All right. Let's end this. The plan was set. Ghost provided the intel, and J. Cat and Elise prepared for the final battle. They would confront the syndicate head-on, in a remote location just outside of Paris. It was a high-stakes game, one that could end in either victory or death. But J. Cat thrived in these moments, the chaos, the danger. It was where he felt most alive. As they moved into position, J. Cat gave Elise one final look. Ready? Elise nodded, her expression hard with determination. Let's do this. 
What followed was nothing short of a no-holds-barred firefight. The syndicate was prepared, but they hadn't anticipated the lethal combination of J-Cat's combat skills and Elise's inside knowledge. Bullets flew, bodies dropped, and through it all, J-Cat and Elise fought side by side, their chemistry on full display. The syndicate's leader, a cold, calculating figure named Kassoff, had been the mastermind behind everything. And now, cornered in his lair, he was face to face with the very agents he had tried to eliminate. You can't win, Kassoff sneered, his gun aimed at Elise. Even if you kill me, there will be others. J. Cat stepped forward, his gun trained on Kassoff. Maybe. But you won't be around to see it. With a single, precise shot, J. Cat took down Kassoff, the bullet hitting its mark with deadly accuracy. The reign of terror was over. The syndicate had been dismantled, and Elise was finally free. After the smoke cleared and the mission was officially over, J. Cat and Elise stood together, looking out over the Paris skyline. The city, once a symbol of danger and intrigue, now felt like a place of new beginnings. You did it, Elise said quietly, her hand slipping into his. You saved me. J. Cat smiled, though there was a hint of sadness in his eyes. We saved each other. Elise turned to face him, her expression soft. So what now? J. Cat shrugged, the weight of the mission finally lifting from his shoulders. We keep going. There will always be more missions, more people to save. But maybe, just maybe, we take a little time for ourselves first. She smiled, leaning in for a final kiss, a promise of what could be. For once, the future didn't seem so uncertain. They had faced the worst, and now, they were free to live. Together. And so, in the city of secrets and seduction, J. Cat and Elise walked away from the shadows, knowing that whatever came next, they would face it together. And that's a wrap on this episode of J. Cat Adventures. I hope you've enjoyed the journey and the excitement. Don't forget to subscribe or simply get in touch with me, by video call, audio call or audio text chat. Let me know if you enjoyed the podcast. I would love to know what you think about J. Cat Adventures. Until next time, keep your spirit of adventure alive, and remember, the world is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. This is Jay Bahari, signing off. Stay curious, stay bold, and keep exploring. Also you can find JCAT products at www.jcatadventures.com and at Amazon. Slick with the moon.